Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. A few weeks ago at geeks.perillo.com, when we hit 7,500 members, we gave away 10 of these Microsoft LiveCam VX 5500s, uh, courtesy of Microsoft, at least their hardware group. They blogged about it on the uh, Windows Vista blog, and we got a handful of new geeks registered there. I'm happy to say that we are now 1,500 geeks richer than we were at that point. Uh, we're now at uh, 9,000 registered geeks. And I just wanted to, to show you uh, a bit uh, about uh, this particular webcam and what I think makes it interesting and certainly compelling. I mean, beyond the fact that it is a webcam. Uh, it's got Microsoft's brand on it. Uh, I've always appreciated Microsoft hardware and uh, you know, really found it uh, to be a bit of a challenge when uh, moving away from their brand of hardware, specifically in keyboards and mice. Um, I'm now using uh, Apple's wireless keyboard and Apple's Mighty Mouse on my primary machine here. And then I've got my HP Touch Smart PC with the Optimus Maximus keyboard and the wireless mouse that it came with. And, you know, it's all black and it's all dark. And I love how everything matches over there at this point in time, the, the HP Touch Smart that is just off screen. So what makes the uh, this particular webcam interesting is that uh, the faceplate is interchangeable. At this point... Uh, you can use either a red faceplate, a blue faceplate, or a white faceplate. I'd imagine that uh, they'd uh, they'd release more uh, over time. I mean, I would like to see other colors, you know, beyond this, either you know, pure silver or black. Because, you know, if you've got a nice setup and you know, then you have this just one piece of equipment that stands out like a sore thumb. It's like, duh. You know, you want everything to match, right? I mean, maybe that's just me. I don't. It's just. Probably me. I, I wouldn't be surprised if it's just me. I mean, just about everything on my desk here is black, white, or silver. There's really not a lot of color here. So uh, when I set this up, I just used the white faceplate. I just popped it off, and uh, well, the, the one that was on there, it, it comes with the red one uh, affixed, uh, and I just popped it off, put on the white one, and I was good to go. Of course, it has a built-in microphone. Uh, it has a, a sensor that can capture uh, up to uh, 1.3 megapixel images. Of course, it'll do video. It's got the button that will let you easily place calls so long as you're using the uh, Windows Live Messenger. Um, however, I think more interesting to me is the compact nature of uh, this particular model in so far as you can twist it around and also push it down upon itself. So it's very thin. So when you're traveling, it's thin. Of course, then you still have to kind of wrap the cable around and around and around or, you know, tie it in some other way. But the fact that the profile, when collapsed, is, is uh, rather skinny, uh, makes it really suitable for, for moving around if that's something that you do. Uh, it sits on the back of, and this is something you have to watch for uh, with, uh, with webcams of any variety, uh, uh, something that allows it to sit on the top of a screen. So I could position it here. There you go, okay, easy, and I can tilt it down, and I can maneuver it around, or I can sit it on the back as I have here. I've got a Logitech webcam uh, that's uh, uh, on the top of this particular monitor. Um, some webcams don't have that, and so it's an all-in-one piece. I mean, the uh, the USB cable does not detach, so there's no chance of you losing it. Um, you know, there's no, uh, the stand is not uh, separate from the actual webcam itself. So it's, the, it's, it's a matter of convenience, and if you do plan on moving around a lot, you got to think about that with the peripherals. Peripherals? Nuclear. Peripherals that you plan on traveling with. I'm kind of tongue-tied. Uh, this is uh, the, uh, one of the later models that they have, and uh, they do note that it's, it's not uh, just compatible with you know, Microsoft products. It's a webcam, so as long as you have the software installed and it's recognized by the OS, you should be good to go. Um, now, I, I've been a fan of one Microsoft webcam in particular, and uh, you, I've, I've mentioned it before, and I don't know if you realize it's one that I, I do recommend for just about everybody, and it's not necessarily the VX5500, although this is a very good webcam. I mean, for audio, video, uh, for still photos, you know, it's a good all-purpose webcam, especially in conjunction with the software. Any, uh, any guesses? I'm going to ask the geeks here who are watching the live stream at live.perillo.com right now. Can you guys remember which of the Microsoft webcams I liked the most? Just, I, I'm going to... Okay, fine. It's the Xbox 360 webcam. Why? Because it works. 
Uh, I can plug it into Mac OS X. It recognizes it as a webcam right away. High quality image. You've got a focus ring uh, on the front so you can get it focused in either up close or far away. Um, now, to get the Xbox 360 webcam to work with Windows, you kind of have to jump through a few hoops. Microsoft didn't make it easy, even with Windows Vista. You can't just plug it in and go. You have to jump through a couple of steps in order to, to make it po uh, possible for you to use as a regular old computer-based webcam. Of course, it works with the Xbox 360. But beyond those reasons, one of the big uh, uh, factors that, that pushes it to the top of my list for favorite webcams is the price. It's 40 bucks, 40 bucks for a really good webcam that'll work with a computer or your Xbox 360. And if you don't have an Xbox 360, so what? You probably have a computer. Then you may need a webcam and you don't want to spend $100 on a webcam. You know you want something good. And I'm telling you, the Xbox 360 webcam, it's about the best one out there because of price, because of features, and because of compatibility. And it's a Microsoft product, so I got to give them props. Well, anyway, I, I wanted to again say thanks to everybody who signed up for geeks.perillo.com and certainly thank you to Microsoft for providing these uh, webcams to give away. Maybe we'll be able to do uh, that again at some point in the future. I also have to thank CC Mike for sending these out. Uh, he was very gracious because we needed a way to ship them internationally and, and domestically. And Mike came forward and he said, hey, I'll help. And you know CC Mike. He's one of the operators in the channel at, at uh, in the chat room at live.perillo.com. He's a good guy. I mean... You have to be a good guy to want to do that. And so he gave of his time and his uh, experience and expertise and his ability. And uh, that's really what I appreciate uh, about having a vibrant community of geeks, either at geeks.perillo.com or chatters at live.perillo.com. And, you know, uh, that's kind of what it's all about. I mean, yeah, I use the word geeks because I am one. I enjoy hardware, software, talking about all sorts of solutions. Uh, no matter uh, what kind of geek you are, you're more than welcome to join us in either place. Uh, at uh, the geeks.perlo.com where you can upload uh, photos, video, audio, uh, you can create your own profile page, you can invite friends, make groups, join groups, there's forums, you can create your own blog, there's a lot of things you can do there. And then of course uh, you can also stop by the chat room, uh, and you know, it's easy to get to, I've already mentioned where you can get to it a couple times in this particular recording. I'm recording this video live because I've got a live video feed that incorporates the chat room. It's all like this experience that happens 24 hours a day, seven days a week. At li Hang on. Hello? Yeah, I, I already said it twice. Well, no, I'll say it again. I, I was about to... Fine. Mom just won't leave me alone. We're at live.perillo.com. We'll eat you later.